Whenever I'm in the desert, I get into this mood that I really can only describe as channeling my inner cowgirl. I can't help but feel like my Jeep Black Panther is my trusty steed and my dog William is my partner in crime. Together, we traverse the endless desert in search of new adventures, places seen by few, and stories that we will later tell over the campfire to other nomads. The desert feels like the Wild West and anything can happen out here. What are you about to do? We need your uh, sandwich bag. Hey, does anybody recognize this van? So if you guys don't know Mateo of Winter is Blue, you should definitely check him out. He is out here with his cat, Lars, on a leash. What's up, guys? <laughs> Yeah, we're just hanging out in the desert. It's been really nice to meet up with a new friend and have campfire and just enjoy life. It's just so sunny and nice. I just can't get over the cat on the leash. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him sniffing. <laughs> Louis, yeah. would you like to be my sous chef? Sure. Let's use a little camp, like a hiking stove. I need to get yeah. like a better stove, but yeah, that falls over easy. Yeah, definitely. I've lost <laughs> food for sure. I've lost that. food. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin the breakfast. Ruin the breakfast. Ruin the bricky. The bricky. Yeah, so you can use this on here. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. That's gonna be good. <laughs> you can you can shower with it. You can yeah. I mean. So Mateo's about to try maple syrup that Simon's dad harvested himself. This is straight up moose nectar, right from the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> See if his eyes dilate like mine did. <laughs> What is first impression? Wow, that's good. That tastes like Oh Canada. <laughs> wow. Mm, God save the queen. That's <laughs> God save the queen. That is good. Right? Oh, it's super good. It's my good. first time having maple syrup ever. Really? Yeah. I've never had it before. Well, this is the best way to try it for yeah, the this first is time. Like a baptism. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Am I like an honorary Canadian now? Yeah, you are. Canadian. Whoa. Hey, <laughs> You are most very welcome. <laughs> super excited to try your French toast and your delicious eggs. See? It's okay. It's okay, like Bobby. What the hell? See? It's pretty good. Hey, look at that. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, Bubby. I'll tell you this much. This is the best it's ever gone with a pet. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can anyone nope? Yes! <laughs> nope. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> bullying him. We're like straight up bullying him. Hey, we said we were going to do it. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Did you pull? Yeah. Oh wait, do I have to go twice? No. Yes, no. No. Okay. <laughs> that, was even that, fun. Was <laughs> that was brutal. That was fun. Oh, dude. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, I guess you're out. Here. That was really dirty. We took you out yeah, in like, like three moves. <laughs> <laughs> we literally were like, no, the, yeah. yeah, take this. We were like, look at me, look at me. We really just <laughs> ate two brutes in your ass, bro. <laughs> Hey everyone, I just wanted to show you guys Winter is Blue or Mateo's van and prove that you don't need a 4x4 to come out to the beautiful desert. This is Mateo and his cat, Lars. And they're just going to give us a little tour of their Astro van. What's up guys? This is my, uh, my 1999 Chevy Astro van. And I'm going to open the door now so Lars can go inside. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. This is my van. 
That's Lars's cat tree, which takes up the majority of the space. Mm -hmm. This is my bed that I built. I have a video where I built it for $17. Um, I have a Mr. Buddy heater right here. Um, I have this cool... Uh, oh, I love those. Cool little drum. <laughs> I've got... Uh, if you want to look out real quick, I have my solar panel and Jackery. And uh, my cook stuff. I have a Coleman oven right here, a cook stove, and a propane burner right here, mm -hmm. which works like this. Oh, you're it's out of gas. Hater on it. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's out of gas. Uh, that's cool though. Oh, man. Okay. I have my guitar over there. That little Pokeball is where mm -hmm. Lars um, uh, hangs out when we travel. <laughs> And uh, yeah, feel free to yeah. or do what you want to do. Nice. $17 job. on that. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. $17 bed. I should go check out his channel and see that video on that bed there. And what do you got? You got an awning. I have an awning up here and a storage bag that has my, I have a, a like a traveling oven where I can like bake pizza. And I made a Thanksgiving turkey a couple weeks ago in a little oven. <laughs> That's on my YouTube page as well. Where um, has been your favorite place so far in the like a little bit over a year you've been in the van? I stayed at a hot spring campsite. There was like a few hot springs and you could stay right next to it. That was the best spot I've ever stayed at. That was really cool. <laughs> I kind of want to go directly back. I'm definitely going to see if it snows there and if it snows there I'm going to go back while it's snowing because cool. that would be awesome. Um, so yeah. Awesome, thanks for showing us your van. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys, yeah, that you can come out here and enjoy the beauty of the desert and the outdoors, even in a two-wheel drive. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mateo, for breakfast. <laughs> it's been fun You're hanging welcome. out. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. <laughs> we are in the desert still. Um, today's really exciting because we are about to climbing crag to meet up with Forest and Forest. We are each other's belay partners these days. So yeah, we've been working pretty hard learning how to uh, outdoor climb. I have a little experience like outdoor bouldering, a lot of indoor climbing, but not a lot of outdoor climbing because I've never been able to find a partner, um, a belay partner. So I've been teaching Simon how to lay and like everything that I know and then also we've been learning lots of new stuff too like setting up anchors uh, for top roping because our goal together is to be able to trad climb that will hope open up a whole other world of mountaineering uh, this summer so we're spending the winter together learning how to climb learning the ropes literally and figuratively and yeah I'm excited it's a little nerve-wracking like having a new Belay partner, we, we have to build our trust in each other. About to go climbing. <laughs> don't drop me. Actually, don't fall. You have, that's, the you, whole, that's the first rule. You have more experience out of the two of us, so it's, it's all It's, it's all, all on me. <laughs> equal, equal responsibility here. It's yeah. very dangerous. We could die. Yeah, we really could hurt each other. Hurt ourselves a lot. Yeah, we've yeah. done quite a lot of research trying to play it safe. We're going to play it safe. Louis. Use all the skills we know. I was ready to just go for it, but you're like, let's do some research. <laughs> yeah, he was the one who was like, let's go. And I'm like, okay, what I know about climbing is you can really, really hurt yourself. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff you need to know. Oh, yeah. So I slow you down a little bit. It's, it's very overwhelming getting into this. First step in our top roping day is we got to climb up there, up a trail, and set up our anchor. And then we can climb. This place is a bit trashy. Looks like Forrestie and I are gonna have to do a little bit of a cleanup at some point. <laughs> yeah, and if it swings back and forth like that, it should be good. And then you take, I need your HMS. Not graceful. Not technical. Rewind. Just put a little bit on 
Okay, let's do this. Hey, can you climb that? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Yay, thanks for giving me <laughs> kudos. But, uh, doesn't look as high from down here but up there once you get up there you're like budge this is pretty far yeah. <laughs> <You're> like woohoo <laughs> well okay I need to start doing chin ups <sighs> yeah it's weird once you get there it's definitely like it's a hanger like, yeah. Like, and then you have to push yourself up and over. That's not easy. <laughs> I can I can see how it's possible. We both tried it twice. And Simon got the furthest because he's a badass. I don't I'm know. Not if ready to give up. I wanna I wanna conquer this. <laughs> he's stubborn in a good way. And yeah, and I am just still learning how to trust another person belaying me. <laughs> plus the rope, plus gear. Plus my own body. How, how do you trust a rope named by uh, Alex Honnold? <laughs> <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, the person who never uses the rope. <laughs> yeah, it's fine though. This is like we're we're still new, and I, we got like how many feet up? Do you think that is? Twenty-five or thirty. I'm pretty happy with that. We did a really easy one the other day that I didn't film, and then now we did a really really hard one. I need something in the middle of that. <laughs> Your gears are like do 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 do. If we could just get over that one, the ledge. That ledge is jutting out there. But what if we get over the ledge and it's like the hardest climb you've ever done in your entire life? There's no turning back. Yeah, there's no turning back once you get over that ledge easily. You're committed. Without swinging so far, which puts friction on the anchor. <laughs> Hashtag outdoor climbing. Hey, we didn't die. We did good. We did good. We used all the knowledge we've been learning. Ready? Want me to carry it this time? Sure. Equality. Equality. <laughs> Equality. Well, Simon's making pizza dough. And I'm taking the dogs for a walk. Come on, guys. Let's go. I super dig team working this stuff. Life is a lot easier with another person around. We can, one of us can make food, one of us can take care of the dogs. It's great. <laughs> Billy, yes. Where are you going? You guys are gross. Just leaving your trash behind, so I'm gonna do a little trash pickup. You know, since we used the crag, gotta give back to the crag because this place is looking pretty run down, so pick up some trash. I found a needle, y'all. Nasty. I mean, the needle part was gone. The pokey part was gone, so I just took the rest. So that's nasty. Rocco! Got a little trash. Doing our part. Leaving the place better than we found it. Now to my favorite part of the adventure. Disclaimer, I did not buy any of these ingredients, but Simon is making us pizza. So I am going to cut some ingredients for on top of the pizza. Teamwork makes the dream work. This is my favorite part of any adventure is after the adventure is over and you get to eat. <laughs> what can I say? I love food. We got a nice bowl of eclectic stuff here. We got some pineapple, onion, olives with blue cheese. I don't know where Simon finds this stuff, but that is amazing. I had like 10 of those, don't tell him. And some mushroom. Pizza. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It is so good. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>